Should we just leave it to? We should probably just leave it to one man, shouldn't we? Noel Houlihan, you're going to tell everybody in this room why you're going to win the champion chase aboard Editor de Wait, Who did I tip again? No, oh, yeah, you better have tipped your own horse here. Yeah, I, I think he's going to win. <laughs> how, how, like this horse here, right? Has I think gone off what twenty-eight to one and fourteen to one in those the Grade Two and Grade One win that he's had this season. So underestimated, and I know the horse is a lot shorter here now, six to one, but. Is this horse still underestimated from a big front-running ride? Um, he's not underestimated because you might see tipsters and people of like, like on Shelton Prebrib and say, oh, he's got no chance, this, that, and the other. But I can guarantee you, you've got Willie Mullins and Alan King, Tom Cannon and Paul Townend all saying, what are we going to do about this? And that's just that. That's a pleasure in itself. I think he loves the course, old or new course, no matter what. We, I've ridden around both. He's won on both. The ground touch wood at the moment should be pretty good playing a dead side because he've watered it and that will again suit him he's by Sadex he want a bit nice cut in the ground and uh, look I'm just going to they know what I'm going to do in it yeah no no they, I was going to say this so uh, what, a lot, what are you going to do, okay. gonna do? No. Hold it. Uh, drop in <laughs> hold it up yeah. <laughs> not, not giving you guards uh, ride, <laughs> uh, ride him for a place yeah. yeah. ride him for a place yeah a bit nick a bit <laughs> a lot of jockeys on these preview nights you go around to never give their tactics away for a race but this horse here has to be ridden from the front no get this horse out try and get this horse into a lovely river the thing is I don't think it has to be ridden from the front what, it just, it can just I question, at the start of the season, a lot of people question, I was actually speaking to George yesterday on the phone, but a lot of people question why this horse was held up on his first run of the season. Can you explain what, why that happened and we saw a disappointing yeah, run there and then why we suddenly seen this horse if, if at, at his best from the front where everyone thinks he's best? At first, first run of the season, he needed it. We knew it going there and the last he wanted to do was empty him out. Um, he's just coming right. If you put the horse inside in this room here, he probably wouldn't fit. He's about 17-1. He's beautiful. I, I love the horse bits. And, uh, but he's a big horse, and they always tend to need their first run. Um, he, even in Ascot, he see his last first run last season. And it's just down to pure tiredness. So we, we were, it was a weak race, and we were just worried. That we, we, we've got him out. He might, he might fall in the hole. So let's try to sit with him. But he, it turned out he didn't need to run. I'm not going to lie. He came third behind moderate enough company. But Dad's lad, even though he's a good chance for the Grand Annual. Um, but... He actually gave me the same, a similar feel in mid race as he would if he's out in front. He's still pinging her fence as he was, mm -hmm. he's still travelling well, but he just, yeah, just needed it. But he, if, say, if something came outside me, I wanted to go a million, he could sit second there and still, as long as we're going to go gallop, as long as an end to end gallop, he'll be there by three out and he can kick away. Like, you know, he'll um, stay. We, we saw the replay at the, s the top of the show of, of you beating Edward Stone that finish. Edward Stone did put his head in front briefly, but did you know at that point when, when Eberstone came up alongside, this horse will battle for me and will do his best to get there? Um, I didn't know, because obviously any time a horse had come to him in the past, it had been a handicap company, and they'd only ever got to his girts and he kind of just edged him out, whereas like, Edward Stone was the perfect run he got. He winged the last, so did I, but he just winged it, had, used his gear, and he got past me, and the horse, he just... You can see him there. He put his head yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Neck was down. Um, that was Dash Joan Horse going to the dark place. It's pure guts, like. Okay, now I think the question for everyone here will be the the horse that you're most worried of. Obviously, Edward Stone was in that that finish with yourself, but Anergamy made a massive blunder at the the last fence there, and I know that he may not have, have have come and won that race, but he would have been a lot closer. Is he the one you're actually worried about, or would you still be worried about Edward Stone as your main danger? Um, you always worry about Willie Mullins, Cheltenham, but my I believed want to worry about. Yeah, it's probably Edward Stone. Like Edward Stone, yeah. yeah no, 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 like, uh, King, I, King I wouldn't I wouldn't change any if I had pick a horse in the race, I wouldn't change any of them. Okay. And that's probably my heart saying most of that, but that is also a small bit of my head. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I mean King was questioning why Edward Stone didn't hit the line as hard as he usually did in that race there. So a few question marks there, whether he's sort of, you know, got Edward Stone where he needs to be now, I don't know. But no matter who you're on in the race in this room, I'm sure you're going to be cheering home Niall on the day. Um, it'd be fantastic to see him go. If and not, we're having words. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if not, you probably won't be back here next year. Not here next year. 